Well, greetings. Wonderful to be together. I hope, I hope that this moment in time that uh, you're doing well in your walk with the Lord and that uh, you're encouraged and that uh, you're just sensing God's presence. And maybe if you're struggling and maybe if you're going through a difficult season or a season of trials, that as you spend time with the Lord faithfully, God would meet you in these times and it would begin to provide that strength and encouragement that you need. This is out of uh, Jeremiah 31, beginning with verse 31. And it says, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Remember, he would be speaking to the Hebrew people, to the nation of Israel as a whole, but uh, at this point, there's the northern kingdom, which is ten tribes, and the southern kingdom, Judah, which is which is two tribes. So there's Israel and Judah at this time. And so he addresses this to both of them. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers, this agreement, this bond, this, this bond that they have based on uh, the arrangement that they that he had made with their fathers in the days that when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, my covenant which they broke, though I was a husband to them, says the Lord. It says, this covenant, and what was the covenant? The covenant was that um, it was uh, based on the Passover, the sacrificial lamb. Uh, So this sacrifice was made, and there was provision that provided uh, salvation to them. So it's it's God was developing this covenant relationship with them based on sacrifice of of lambs for the forgiveness of their sin, you know, the innocent, you know, for the guilty, right? So he set this precedent of this, but they kind of faltered in, in this relationship. And now we pick it up in verse 33. He says, But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law in their minds, and I'll write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they will be my people. This is the new covenant that you and I as Christians live under. That God, as we open our hearts up to God, the finished work on the cross, where we receive, which we spoke about at the tail end of our last um, message, how we mu- we must receive this in order to be the beneficiaries of the future and the hope. Now this is speaking of that new covenant that's the future and the hope, that it is based on what Jesus did as the ultimate sacrifice. He, one, died for all, and so he took on our sin upon himself, and uh, his blood is provides the forgiveness of our sins. And he says, by the Spirit, see the Spirit that then is given, the laws on our minds and written on our hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No more shall every man teach his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for the Lord, for they all shall know me, from the least of them to the greatest of them, says the Lord. And I will forgive their iniquity and their sin. I will remember no more. And so as we come to the Lord, you know, it's not that we're dependent uh, on just, every, we need these kind of things like we're doing right now because these are beneficial to us. But but the reality is when I'm sharing these truths, they're bearing witness with the Spirit of God that lives within you. You see, so it's not that, um, uh, it's not that that truth that, that they would be conveying from a priestly way that they did where there was a hierarchy of people. See, that's not the way it is. We're all on the same plane now. I'm just sharing with you truths that I know from God's word, but they're bearing witness in your heart to the truth that's already there because God has written it on the on the tablet of your heart. And so it's kind of a cool thing, this new covenant, this new relationship. It's no longer based on the sacrifice of animals that was consistently being done. It's now done once for all. It's done. It's a finished work. And so now we are relying on that and walking in that and enjoying that. And we are given this newness of life. And ultimately, this speaks to, I believe, of the the millennial reign of Jesus where where there's no need to even speak to everyone. We're, we're all under the, the, the care and covering of, of this, this new kingdom that we would live in where Jesus rules and reigns. And so we're looking forward to that day for sure. But in the meantime, We're living out this new relationship, this new covenant with Jesus where he dwells within us and he moves inside of our lives and through our lives in ways that would bring him glory. God bless you. Have a great day today.